In this video, you will learn about Llama Pass, an API created by Llama Index to efficiently pass and represent files for efficient retrieval and context augmentation using Llama Index framework. But please note that currently it only supports PDF file, not any other file format. So let's see how this Llama Pass works. First, I will import import nest underscore asynco and then I will call this nest underscore asynco dot apply and now let's import llama pass from llama underscore pass import llama pass Now you need to get LavaPass API keys and these are free, you don't have to worry about it. So you have to come on this website cloud.lamaindex.ai then you will come on this section of API keys and here you can generate a free API key for you. So just come on this website cloud.lamaindex.ai and then just sign up with your Google for free and you will get your uh, this llama and uh, llama parse api keys and that we will be using here so now i will make uh, or i will import this os model first and now let's set it set the environment variable by providing our keys i will write here os dot environ and inside this i will write here llama underscore cloud underscore api underscore key and then i will assign my key here and i will pause my video because i cannot reveal my key i have imported my api keys and before we proceed, I would like to tell you about this function. So Llama Parse is async first. And to run the sync code in a notebook, it requires the use of nest underscore async. Therefore, I have imported this one. Now, let's get a PDF file. So I will just paste uh, something here. So this is what uh, the PDF file that we want to get. And you can also just write the same code as it is to get this PDF file. Let us execute it now. And we will get some information about this PDF file. So uh, you can see the what is the total size received and so on. Now let's import Llama Pass. I will write here from Llama underscore Pass import okay i have already imported this uh, llama parse above no need to import it again now i'm going to make a variable documents and then i will call this llama parse and from this i will call here uh, result type and result type is going to be text and then load underscore data and then I will load dot I will give the PDF file name attention dot PDF so I am going to load this PDF file and let us execute our code so we should get some message here starting passing the file under job i did this so it has passed it now we can even look at what we have in this uh, documents variable so i will write here print documents at index 0 dot text and let's say i will give uh, some index 6000 to 7000 and let's see what we have 
So we have this output sequence in all but a few cases 27 hours of attention mechanisms are used in conjunction with the recurrent networks and so on. So this is the content that we have at this index number and we can also import this as a markdown. So instead of text, so what we have here is in the text format, I can change it to markdown. I will write here mark down and let's see how it will look now. So if you look at the output, see output is changed now. We have this is auto reversely consuming the previously generated symbols are additional when generating the next. So we have this softmax, these are the functions, add norms and so on. And then it says figure one, the transformer model architecture. The transformer, uh, the transformer follows this overall architecture using stacked self-attention and point-wise fully connected layers for both the encoder and decoder shown in the left and right halves of figure one respectively. So you can see that you can parse any file and then you also you can choose the format in which you want to see maybe it is text or markdown. This is what about Lama Pass. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.